What's up everyone and welcome to Mind the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron and it's time for New Music Friday where I take a look at some of the upcoming music coming out throughout the week of February 10th. I'm going to give my personal thoughts and opinions on what I think we could expect from some of these new releases. And it's been a very long time since I've done this just because there's been a lack of new releases or stuff that I'm familiar with. If it's stuff that I'm not familiar with then I don't really feel comfortable telling you guys what I think we could expect from it just because I don't know the music at all. And I've been getting a lot of requests for people asking me like, hey, when's New Music Friday coming out again? And he here we are. We got some new music that I can finally talk about. And just because New Music Friday hasn't been a thing doesn't mean I'm not always taking requests. If there's a song or whatever you want me to do a quick review on, please always leave a comment below. Let me know what it is. I'm always checking my comments. I'm still a fairly small YouTube channel, so I see every comment that there is. And I usually reply to it or heart it. That way you guys know that I see it. And yeah, if you guys have a request, I, I will see it. And I will most likely do it, especially when it's slow like it has been. Uh, if you've noticed, I've only been doing like one album review a week, if that. Mostly just a lot of singles. So yeah, and just like always before, if there's anything you guys are looking forward to coming out throughout this week, please leave a comment below letting me know what it is, because there's a lot of music and I'm sure I'm going to miss something. So yeah, let's talk about some new music now. First up is In Flames is coming out with a new album titled Foregone. Uh, this album has been highly anticipated, and I gotta admit, I haven't really liked too much of their new stuff. I'm more of an old school In Flames kind of fan, like Clay Man and Gesture Race. But the singles off of this album have been really, they've been really promising. They sound really good. It sounds like they're kind of going back to their old school kind of stuff with some of their more modern kind of sounds. And I'm very much excited for this album. I'm going to be doing a review on it. Hopefully I'll have it done by Friday or Saturday, give or take. But yeah, I think this one is going to be one of their best albums yet. Paramore has released a new album titled This Is Why, and I'm not really expecting this to be really that good. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it at all, really. Mainly because I'm not really into the genre that Paramore is in nowadays. But even still, the singles that they've been releasing just aren't really that good. Paramore just kind of lost their, their originality over the years. It shows more and more with the more music they release. And with the singles I've heard, like Say Come Saw, I did a review on that. Uh, it takes some kind of like... 1980s early pop stuff from like talking heads and stuff and they use it it sounds good but overall it's just it, it just isn't really that good overall pierce the veil is coming out with the new album titled the jaws of life i really struggle with this band mostly due to the vocals which is more of like a me problem <laughs> it's more of my personal preference as opposed to something that's actually wrong with the band and because of that i might go back and try and give them another chance especially with this album because it sounds a little bit more digestible in that area and also, if you notice, the name of my channel is a nod to Coheed and Cambria. And the first time I listened to Coheed and Cambria, I could not stand the vocals. I didn't understand it and I hated it. And a few years later, I listened to them again and I loved it. So maybe that'll have the same kind of effect with Pierce Seville. So yeah, I'm never afraid to give a band that I dislike another chance. Because you never really know if your preference changes or... I don't know, maybe it just clicks with you one day. But they do also suffer from lack of originality, much like Paramore. And the singles on this don't really sound quite as horrible, so it gives me a little bit more hope for the album. And not only that, but like I said, the vocals are a little bit more digestible. So yeah, I'll probably be giving this one a try. Linkin Park is coming out with a new single titled Lost. I am uh, not going to touch this one. <laughs> I, I really struggle listening to Linkin Park, especially after Chester. Uh, I have a few uh, situations in my life that kind of deal with the same kind of thing. And yeah, it just makes it hard for me to listen to them. And yeah, I'm just basically here to tell you that Linkin Park is coming out with a new single. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if it's good or not. We also have a new single from Vale Amaya titled Godhead. I didn't really like their last single that much, um, Synthwave Vegan. I, I I don't know. I just I couldn't really get into it. It was too synth wavy for me, I guess you could say. However, I am missing music from this band because I really enjoy their last couple albums they released. So I'm excited for this, and um, it just means that it's closer to a new album. And even though I don't like Synthwave Vegan, I might like it in the full album. So yeah, I try not to judge it too hard. But I'm hoping that this song is a little bit more um, instrument forward as opposed to synth forward. I just realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in, so now it is plugged in, so I apologize for the first half of this video. 
which has less than spectacular quality to it, but we move on. Uh, we have a new single from Eminence titled Jaded. This band kind of reminds me of like a more mellow, less squealy version of Currents, and I really enjoyed their last album, Heaven in Hiding, but I really, really disliked their last single, Temptation, just because it was so like love songy. It, it was like a really slow, sappy song that I feel like they didn't really know how to approach it and it was just kind of weird and a little awkward I I don't know I just wasn't really feeling it it was too slow and I really hope that that was just a random phase that they were going through and they go back to uh, their proper form as in such they had in heaven and hiding which did have some slower parts to it but it just meshed really well together within the album as opposed to just a really slow single that they released and we have a new single from brand of sacrifice titled dynasty this is going to be absolutely insane. Brand of Sacrifice, I feel like, is really stepping up. And I say that they're really, like, they're pushing metalcore and deathcore, I guess you could say, mostly deathcore, to new heights. After their last single, they've really just honed in on what direction the band wants to go in. And I feel like Dynasty is going to be an absolute banger. It's going to be so heavy. It's probably going to be, I don't know about you, but it's, <laughs> it might be my favorite single that they're going to release. Just, just because of the direction that the last thing was going, if it's the same kind of thing, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. And we also have a single from Suicide Silence titled "Dying Life." I feel like this band is like the opposite of Brand of Sacrifice. They're more of like a traditional deathcore band, which is not it's not a bad thing whatsoever. Uh, traditional deathcore is more of my go-to kind of style of music. It's the kind of stuff that I absolutely love. And because of that, I just, I don't know, I feel like this song is going to be an absolute banger too. Sure, it's more traditional, it's a little bit more old school, they're not doing too much new stuff, but they do what they do so freaking well, and they've been doing it for so, so long, and yeah, I think this one's going to be great. We have a new single from Attack Attack, titled Dark Waves, and at first I gotta admit that when this band said they were getting back together and Johnny Frank and Caleb just weren't going to be part of it. I, it really seemed like a cash grab to me. I don't know. It still might be. But after listening to their album they released, I got to admit, it wasn't completely horrible. Uh, the, singles were, the, the singles were trash. Don't get me wrong. They were really bad. But the deep cuts, I feel like they went all out and they really brought that essence of what Attack Attack was supposed to be as opposed to like this slow kind of pop thing that the singles were. And I think the only reason why the singles were like that was to get more like mainstream kind of fans excited and pumped that Attack Attack because a lot of their old fans have moved on to that kind of sound, more mainstream metalcore. And because of that, I feel like they wanted to rope them back in. But the deep cuts on the album, I mean, they're, they're not like the best thing I've ever heard, but they're not bad. So it still gives me hope for Attack Attack. But with that said, this is a single. I don't have much hope for it. And that is it for New Music Friday. As always, if there's something that I missed because there's a lot of music coming out this week, please leave a comment below letting me know if there's something that you're looking forward to that I didn't talk about. Let me know what you want me to review next. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to help support me and my channel and you're just excited that New Music Friday is back, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos, especially if you leave requests. Because sometimes that happens. I, I do a requested review and the person who requests it just never comes back because they didn't subscribe. And it just makes me sad that they don't even get a chance to see it. So yeah, with that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will be talking to you guys next time. I was